we are going to discuss a new concept which we will be using to solve questions from next video so, till now we were solving differential equations of the form m dx plus n dy equal to zero which were exact so we will first check whether the question is in m dx plus n dy form then we will use the necessary and sufficient condition which is uh, the necessary and sufficient condition to check equations of such form to be exact which is dou m by dou y equal to dou n by dou x we will check whether the given equation is exact and if it is exact we use the solution integral m dx plus where y is considered constant and in plus integral terms in n without x dy equal to c so that that is how we used to solve the questions of this form and uh, if it is not exact if the equation of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to zero is not exact it can always be made exact by multi multiplying by some functions of x and y such a multiplier is called an integrating factor so we will use this concept to solve some question uh, solve some questions from next video uh, rules for finding integrating factor there are many rules to find uh, we can use to find uh, the integrating factor for a given equation uh, we will take the first rule we we'll take up the first rule uh, use that to solve some questions and then for take the next rule and uh, like that we will go to so first rule is by inspection uh, by inspection means by rearranging the terms of the given equation or by dividing by a suitable functions of x and y the equation thus obtained will contain several parts easily integrable so we will observe the different parts of the question and identify whether and will see whether any adjustments some additions some subtractions or some divisions some some changes will convert this into an into a form that is easily integrable if that is possible we will make each part very uh, each part into easily integ integrable forms and then solve it so you for inspect for solving questions based by inspection we can use uh, a list of exact differentiables um, which are frequently observed in questions so if, if you know these uh, exact differentiables uh, we can have some intuition uh, about of the integrating factor that is applicable to the given question so take a pause just go through it it is not very complicated it is simply using u by v rule for differentiating uh, and once you are familiar with the patterns different patterns that can appear in the questions you will be easily able to solve questions using these exact differentiables so some familiar idea will be um, so if there is x dy minus y dx or y dx minus x dy then there is a chance that uh, the function or the what we different um, so um, the functions that when integrated give the differential that function will have some y by x or x by y and looking at the denominator we get an idea more better idea of what whether it is y by x or x by y similarly if it is log x y there is a chance that denominator will have x y uh, it's like saying if there is a similar x dy plus y dx x y then it's like saying x y equal to u using a substitution x y equal to u then we will have x dy plus y dx as du so such substitution can uh, uh, means that uh, it is easily integrable um, if the if it exists it means that it is easily integrable so we will just if there is a uh, uh, similarly if there is x square plus y square in the denominator there is a chance that tan inverse is inv involved the function tan inverse is involved uh, we can um, rearrange in such terms that the, uh, there is 
a differential of tan inverse y by x or tan inverse x by y is there in the differential equation so if this is too confusing once we start solving problems we will have a better understanding and a clarity uh, on how we can uh, by inspection find the integrating factor and use it to convert it into convert the given differential equation into an exact form so just pause uh, there are 19 uh, forms uh, given in this list just pause and go through it and try to uh, familiarize the patterns as I said earlier, if the different whether if the denominator has x y there will be a log, or if the denominator has x square plus y square there will be tan inverse, or if there is y dx minus x dy, uh, there is a chance that uh, the function we are looking will have um, x by y. Similarly, just go through it, and I didn't try to memorize these patterns. Even if it is very difficult, once you solve enough questions you will get an understanding on uh, using the this rule rule by inspection and finding the integrating factor okay now we will solve questions using this idea and from next video onwards thank you